Hi, I'm Oliver Goodbrod, an authorized CUTE trainer from EGITS. Welcome to this learning video based on material taken from the CUTE Essentials training course. With these videos, we will be giving you the key insights into CUTE as well as demonstrate the type of in-depth training available in the classroom-based CUTE Essentials training course. The Data Widget Mapper is a convenience class how to show data within a user form. For example, let's take a look at this example here. You have a model providing this kind of data where you have some persons with address and age information and you would like to show a dialog for each person with a name, address and an age field. So the data widget mapper maps the model sections to the widget. So the widgets are also updated when the current index changes and you can specify the orientation of your data whether it's horizontal or vertical. So, how does this mapping work? We simply have to set up the mapping by just telling which item has to be mapped to which widget. So, first of all, we create a new instance of our data widget mapper, set the correct orientation set the underlying model and then we have to add the mapping. So the name added field goes to column 1, the address added represents column 1 and the 8 spin box represents the column 2 data. And then we tell the mapper to go to the first item. So there are some special slots available to track the navigation so that we can easily connect a next button with the to next slot so that you can navigate between your data rows. So how does mapping work in detail? So mapping uses Qt's property system. So each control has its property and can have one default property. So if we take an example, for instance in the line edit, we can set the text property to be the default property of this control. So we can set the user equal true just to be the user editable property of this line edit. So, what does it mean to our mapping? Whenever we add a mapping without any properties, it automatically takes the default property of this control. If we want to add mapping to another property, we can specify this as an optional parameter, like the input mask here. We hope you enjoyed this session of our Qt Essentials training. For the full experience, including labs, Q&As and additional info, we recommend you to attend the full multi-day CUT Essentials training course available from EGITS or any one of the CUTE training partners. For full details, check out cute.nokia.com. Thanks for watching.